good morning good morning welcome back everybody i haven't done a video since i've been in chicago um i've been working tremendously hard on my new job so i apologize for neglecting you guys uh and not making a video so um the last videos were about my dream job and of course still a month later it's still a dream so everything is going extremely well there so today I wanted to bring you guys a video about the new ICD-10 CKD codes. This year, for 2020, there are three new CKD codes. So let's get into it. So I've made a lot of notes. I have my ICD-10 book here. So if you want to follow along, that's perfect. Take notes, that's perfect. But if you are taking the exam this year, make sure that you write this in your book and you notate it that there are new ckd codes for 2021 in your icd 10 book let's get into it so what is ckd so ckd chronic kidney disease um it's a long-standing disease of the kidneys uh that leads to renal failure and if you heard the word renal it means your kidneys so in this video, a lot of you guys might be far in advance when I do things like that as far as renal equals kidneys. But for those who are not familiar with all of the medical terms, I want to make sure that this video is good for everybody. Whether you are a future coder who's in school or whether you are a veteran coder who's been doing this for a while. So I just want to make it um, just broad across the board where everybody can understand. So um, chronic kidney disease is a long-standing disease of the kidneys which leads to renal failure and renal means your kidneys. So anytime you see the word renal, it's dealing with your kidneys. So there is no cure for um, chronic kidney disease. There's only treatments. There's treatments with medication in the early stages. And then in the later stages of CKD, normally around stage four, because there are stages and we'll talk about that. So normally in the later stages, that's when dialysis comes into play. And we'll go into that as well. So CKD may be caused by diabetes, um, high blood pressure, and a lot of other disorders. Um, the root word uh, for kidney, if you see the word nephro, N-E-P-H-R-O, if you see the word nephro, look, nephrology, nephrologist, nephrosis, neph, that's going to mean your kidneys. So if you see renal, R-E-N-E, renal, or renal, R-E-N-A-L, and you see nephro, those are the root words for your kidneys. So, how many stages are there for CKD? CKD has, uh, has primarily six, six stages. There's going to be stages one through five. And then when you get to your final stage, which is six, they normally don't say six, uh, stage six the medical chart or the encounter or the clinician or they're referred to it as ESRD and that stands for end stage renal disease so stages of renal diseases six primarily one through five and when you get to stage six it's going to be documented as ESRD so the codes for these stages are very easy to remember even with the new additions so stage one kidney disease is going to be N, as in Nancy, N18.1. Stage 2, N18.2. So the stages are primarily easy. And prior to 2020, it was just stage 3, and it will be N18.3. But that's where the new additions come in at. And we'll talk about that as well. Okay, so if you're reading an encounter in the chart and the stage of the CKD, it's not documented where it says that the patient has chronic kidney disease, but it does not specify which stage, then you're going to automatically document it as unspecified, which is N18.9. And we talked about in a previous video in one of my recordings, where usually the dot nine codes means unspecified, not all the time. But sometimes when you get the dot nine codes like F32.9, that's major depression un, uh, unspecified. I50.9, congestive heart failure unspecified. N18.9, CKD unspecified. 
So the dot nine codes, that's kind of something to remember, but still always look it up. Always use your books, always use your online resources, but normally the dot nine codes means unspecified. So that's a little trick to know too, as far as uh, in regards to taking the exam. So if it's not documented the stage and the encounter in the medical chart, then you're gonna use N18.9, which is unspecified. So if it's also documented in the patient's chart that the patient has had a kidney transplant, then you're gonna always use the ICD-10 code Z, 94.0 and we all know that your z codes are your status codes so it's always great to report the status and the current condition of each patient that's how you're going to capture the true picture of what's really going on you can't leave things out and expect to have a perfect clear picture of everything that this patient um, has going on with them medically so if this patient has had a kidney transplant whether it was last year last month or 30 years ago if it is documented that they have had a kidney transplant always use the code z94.0 it's not going to be a reminder anywhere to say hey this person had a kidney transplant use your status code there's something you're going to have to know as a coder it's something you're going to have to know notate get used to coding so you'll understand okay so some patients are on dialysis when they have CKD, especially if they're in their later stages. So if it is documented, keyword here, documented. You can't assume, uh, can't think, it has to be documented for you to code it. So if it is documented in the patient's chart that the patient is on dialysis, then you're gonna use the status code for dialysis that shows that this patient is on dialysis. And that code is Z. 99.2 whenever you're reading a medical chart if it states that this patient is on dialysis currently as you're reading this chart always code z99.2 now if you don't want to take my word for these things i'm telling you of course i want you to always research for yourself that's why i notated the guidelines where you can specifically find these and i just take my word for it so in the official guideline um, I am going to give you the official guideline where it talks about CKD and hypertension or hypertensive heart and CKD and also the stages of CKD. So you're going to look in section I.C.9.A.2. Another section you're going to look in, and I'll say it again because this is a video, so you won't have to rewind it. Hypertensive heart and CKD, you're going to look in um, section i.c.9.a.2 also in the official guidelines for the stages and more information about chronic kidney disease you can look in i.c.9.a.3 again i.c.9.a.3 and another one is i.c dot 14 dot a one so you can also look there so how does the clinician determine the stage of ckd there are urine tests there are blood tests and there are imaging testing like ultrasounds mris and ct scans also and those are the methods that clinicians use to determine the stage so when they're determining the, the stage, um, the filtration rate is what they're looking for. Your, kill, your kidneys filter waste and blood and toxins and things. So they're looking for the rate in which your kidneys filters all of these things. And if it's not filtering properly, then that's going to let them know the stage uh, of the CKD that you have. So they check your excuse me filtration rate and it's measured. They use this measurement uh, called the GFR. So if you're, and it, it's the little E in front of the GFR. So you know how the iPhone has the small I and the, uh, the capitalized P uh, for iPhone. So this is the same way for E, GFR. And the E stands for estimated. And that's the estimated glomerular filtration rate. 
the estimated rate in which your kidneys uh, filters what it needs to. So this test is a, uh, excuse me, an assessment of your kidney function. So the stages of CKD are based on how well the kidneys can filter waste and extra fluid out of the blood. In the early stages of CKD, your kidneys are still able to filter out waste from your blood. In later stages, your kidneys must work harder to get of the waste and they may stop working altogether. So let's get into the stages of CKD and let's get into the new CKD codes for 2021. So stage one CKD, your EGFR rate, remember we just talked about that, your filtration rate, your EGFR rate for stage one has to be 90 or greater. And they usually determine this if you have like protein in your urine and things like that. Um, that's one of the symptoms or the signs of CKD stage one. So your EGFR or your uh, filtration rate has to be 90 or greater. And then it's going to be um, N18.1, which is stage one of CKD. So you will notice as I not, uh, talk about the different stages, your GFR rate is going to go down the higher the stage check this out so stage one gfr 90 or greater stage two egfr that's going to be between 60 and 89 and that's like mild ckd and that code is going to be n18.2 so here's where the new codes coming in for 2021 ckd stage three so prior to CK, excuse me, prior to 2021, CKD stage three was just completely stage three. And the only unspecified code it was to um, notate or document for unspecified CKD, it was N18.9, which was unspecified CKD. But now in 2021, stage three is broken down. So stage three is an important stage when it comes to CKD. That's the middle ground. Remember, I told you we had six stages. Stages primarily one through five. And then when you get to six, that's completely failure. That's end stage renal failure. So stage three is going to be very important. That's kind of like your baseline. It's not on the low end. It's not on a high end. It's kind of in the middle ground where it's not going to get better because it's not a cure for it. So once you get to stage three, it's only going to progress. So they found that this is an important stage that needs to be specified even more. So you know the thing about coding is we specify things to the highest specificity. So in stage three, they figured we need more specificity to specify this stage three, since it's so important, this is the middle ground, it's, it's gonna get worse from here. So let's do a little more specificity to this code. Here it is, stage three, the new code. So stage three, your GFR is gonna be between 30 and 59. The new code for that is going to be N18.30. That's stage three CKD unspecified. So now there's more specificity to stage three, according to your EGFR. So if for stage three, the EGFR rate is only showing between 30 and 59 and not any more direct numbers, then you're gonna use N18.30. And that's gonna be uh, stage three unspecified. So now here's another new code. Remember I told you it's three. So the first one was N18.30. The first one was N18.30. And that's going to be stage three. 